So we're going to go from a period of great unveiling, great exposition, but also it is a time of high deceit. It's days where we require great discernment because those who call themselves our adversaries, those who believe they are here to be placed as our adversaries are going to be giving a lot of their secrets away. However, they will be adhering to their law of confusion, which implies that we must still apply so much discernment because it will not be all given away and there are many many traps to be aware of so what I wanted to say was that um, the concept of the what are you the Illuminati naughty Illumis and the naughty Illumis might not all be naughty, but both of them are playing both polarities. They're both playing the white and the black hats. So, uh, in this elaborate game. Well, yes, they are. I mean, they've, they've placed themselves in positions of society which benefit people, but it's still all according to what they call their game. So, with one hand, with one hand they give and the other hand they take, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And it does, it's not all going to be, uh, you know, even when we talk about all these technology releases and, and whatever might seem like a benefit, uh, is also probably going to have some drawbacks applied. So it's still going to be the black and white chess, chess board. So, for example, the internet. The internet can be used for much beneficial uses, but it can also lead to addictions I mean you've got a wealth of information there but you also have for example for the very easy example to think of you have the realm of pornography and doors that are very easy to open which are very destructive so it all depends how you use their technology because that is how they always operate whatever they give you it still has the black and white attachment to it wow that's pretty <clears throat> Well, and the other, the other thing that should be taken taken into consideration is a lot of these black projects in operation are actually uh, to help us. That they're not. A lot of it isn't what people think it is, as in the negative. But instead, they're needing to go through my labbing in order to prepare us for a greater threat yeah in order to use us in that threat because it's a war and they know it's a war so they can't they can't come out with this on the 3d world if they did the whole entire planet would be like um, world war uh, you know that movie that came out you know, in the 1950s that it was War of the worlds war, yeah exactly oh, war of the world. Panic has ensued. and they did that just that's an example of what would happen because the entire world literally believed it was happening and mayhem happened and, and that was just like a mock, you know. Yeah, that was, that was just a test run. A test well, run. well, the, th the thing is though, is, is that I guess that's why they've decided to do drip feeding for decades mm -hmm. in yeah. terms of conditioning the population. Yeah. For all that is unavoidable because the veils are thinning and we will be walking between worlds mm -hmm. <clears throat> and yeah literally they, they will not be able to hide these aspects of our reality no. even if they wanted to so it's essentially going to be forced upon every man woman and child yeah. um, in the 3d so to speak yeah and <clears throat> basically if you haven't paid attention if you're just watching the football and uh eating your barbecues every weekend and uh, not really getting yourself prepared on some level then you're basically going to be in for, for quite a few shocks and, and many people's hearts will fail them and they will be also more prey to the deception agendas which will be coinciding 
with these events and the entities that will be crossing through. Any thoughts on that? Actually, yeah, I do have thoughts on that because what I want to say is that um, uh, a lot of people don't realize and they don't know that along with all of these um, attempts at um, creating these portals, utilizing CERN and um, CERN type devices that are spread strategically on meridians throughout the planet to create extra vortexes within those uh, portals um, that I guess you could say that barrier that kept quote hell or the lower astral hell realms planes. and planes, Sheol, uh, Guyana, whatever you want to call it, they actually have opened up and they are opening up and what's happening now is that due to that people are getting more and more possessed and the demonic realms, those realms with those type of creatures and entities are actually surfacing. And we're going to be seeing that more and more. We're going to be physically seeing these demonic entities walking around in the, in the 3D reality. And we're also going to be seeing um, more, more and more people compromise that would typically have never been compromised. Now, there was a shield that was always in operation um, in order to protect us and to shield us from these forces and from these uh, underworld uh, creatures, underworld entities, underworld powers and principalities, but that, that is now gone. It's been lifted and it's been removed. Largely because they had to remove it in order for the converging energies to um, to do what they're doing and that is to be condensed and converge and you know whereby um, absorption will happen or uh, or the opposite but the what I wanted to explain is that these demonic realms are going to be literally uh, portaled through the 3d reality well, so yeah, it's going to be, be an through. unleashment. And, yeah. and basically, if you haven't prepared yourself spiritually, if you haven't done the spiritual integration work, I mean, not, not, to, um, not to sound too like I'm trying to inspire fear, but the thing is, is that there, there are very real threats and there are very real things to be, to be very mindful of. Um, and and uh, there, there is a big danger sign. That, that must be put up because this this is real this is happening right now people are lashing out all over the place people are on a very very there's a very thin line yeah. with people we're, we're going to be seeing more uh, behaviors of possession um, and we're also going to be seeing literally um, insanity um, yeah. psychotic episodes yeah. and demonic uh, creatures for basically, real basically this is this is why there's been a big push in trying to educate the masses to do the spiritual e integration work to even teach them what that process even means because for that that term it, that term itself is very foreign to people to many and the thing is it's it, this is not fun and games time now this is a very very serious and vital juncture that people need to be basically putting their spiritual armor upon themselves and I'm not talking necessarily talking about that in a biblical sense, even though the biblical uh, does contain many, many truths. Um, there is also, you know, trappings there in uh, distortions. Yeah. It, and also, sorry to... Yeah, go ahead. I, I wanted to say that it's very critical that people understand that they don't have, they will not, they're lessening the resistance to um, uh, substances, uh, drugs, liquor, alcohol. Yes. Their resistance because of the veil thinning and because of the these the nature of these portals opening is also depleting from the body. The body is, doesn't have the same reserves and therefore they're going to be in those states even more susceptible than they ever were before. Mm -hmm. So all these types of substances are going to be having a different effect on people's bodies. Yeah, and so minds, and they're going to be uh, risking uh, invasion yeah. yeah 
Yeah, so people might want to consider their casual weekend benders a little bit more um, in their casual drug use because, and especially the fact that there's a lot more dangerous synthetic drugs which have been introduced into the market and that's been done very deliberately so at this time by the so-called elites um, because they know that, that these beings who they are serving uh, want people's vehicles. Yeah. And they are providing the means through these, especially these, these new synthetic drugs, or well, such as ice, yeah, speed, all that. Um, very, very dangerous gateway drugs, and it really doesn't take much in order to lower your defenses. And also, what what is what we're going to be seeing more and more is that these entities, because they're so desperate and they need vehicles so bad, because there's going to be so many of them, they're going to be finding ways to kick people out of their own bodies, literally. Yeah, so it's not a, it's certainly a daunting thought and uh, this is why we are coming out with these messages at this time, especially so because uh, it is it is a very, very critical time. It's no, no messing around now, okay? It's time now to start taking, oh, taking this all extremely seriously and not thinking of it in terms of woo-woo because uh, people really are going to be quite shocked at what is going to be manifesting and and you're going to be seeing more you're going to be seeing more upticks in in violence madness mm -hmm. uh, manic episodes mm -hmm. and and people are going to be shocked even at their own state was that these uh, portals would be opening up these um they would be opened up unnaturally so this is nothing caused uh, organically this is actually something that is um just the same as the uh, Illuminazis were doing with Hitler and that whole Nazi, uh, you know, Ouroboros, um, the Nazi... Um, uh, the portals that they were opening yeah, up. Yeah, they were opening, uh, they were actually working on the very portals that are, that have now opened up successfully. You mean, you mean... Uh, discovering stargates or actually manufacturing them? No, they were manufacturing the technology to try and open them back then. So, um, yeah. Because there's many more that they're activating now as and well. And that's just, yeah, and that's absolutely, uh, Hitler didn't, he wasn't really quite quiet about it either. So, he employed some of the greatest uh, psychic people on the planet because he was, he was trying to harness their ability um, through interface. Yeah, well, he was just another another one manipulated as well by by malevolent entities, mm -hmm. uh, which certainly don't have human interests at heart, other than their own. Yeah. And uh, this just seems to be the the repeat pattern. Uh, the, with all these world leaders that that we actually do vote for and when you vote for one of these leaders when you actually cast your ballot you are actually making a declaration on a universal level that you are giving up your sovereignty yes. to be mastered to be lorded over yeah. by that representative and that's of, why it's over of yeah the draco of government, of government yeah. yeah and that's why it's vital that people learn and, and get it that they nobody should be voting Anything. No, no. Period. No, it's yeah. a, it's a it's that is no minor thing to actually to make that decision to have a master. That is huge. That is one of the checkmate moves yeah. that they perform over you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and that's um, by by casting a vote. That's saying to the controllers that you have you dominion still over want me. Them to be in control of you. Yeah. So you still want the matrix. Yeah. You still want this prison. So this is the thing, guys. This is where, where the Bible does contain light truths and does give messages such as my people perish for lack of but, knowledge. Yes. you got to gain the knowledge and you have to apply it mm -hmm. in this realm. you got to apply it. It's not enough even just to have it, to just read, read, read. you got to apply it in the everyday. Okay? Don't select the only only the doors that they present to you. Exactly, understand, that's the game. That's their game. Understand that you have your own door, which they do not want you to know, and they do not want you to choose 
the door that they are not giving you to open. Yeah. That's the door you want to. Because there is an option to say, no, I choose neither of your options. I don't want any of it. I want no part in your construct, in your game. Because that, according to them, to the way that they're raised, to the way that they're conditioned themselves, and these, these bloodline families themselves are very, very brainwashed, are very harshly conditioned, and they believe what they are taught, they, and they believe that what they are doing is they actually... They are the lie. They be the lie. Be lie. Exactly. Exactly. And they actually feel that they are, by doing all these negative deeds, by playing this game, that they're actually being a catalyst of like choosing either good or evil and, and, and that that's helping us. They you know. believe that they are being the, the catalyst to our enlightenment. Exactly. And they don't realize that they actually are in their own trap. Yeah. Okay. And they have to wake up themselves and they have to break free of their own fears. Okay. And, and the threats that are held over their own heads. Okay. Which, which are very... You know, because you're dealing with with many psychopathic minds. These people do real world rituals. Okay. Yeah. Um, in our own experiences, we're, we've been forced to witness some of these. This is not make believe. Okay. And there, there is plenty of witness testimony of people who have been forced to participate in these rituals in the 3D. Um, and <sighs> these people don't mess around. No. Okay. And that's putting it mildly. And I can comprehend why many within these societies are afraid themselves to break free. But guys, you've got to do not. It, you got. To, we've got to consider more than just the flesh here, okay? And if someone does harm your flesh, it's on them, okay? You've got to think about the spiritual path and and how it affects your path beyond the flesh. What we do in the day to day, mm. okay? This is one thing you can't you can't trade evil for evil, okay? Because that's what's going to happen, okay? And good doors do not open up. Right doors, righteous doors do not open up, okay? Because there are there are better places than this. There are ascended places than this, which we will call the kingdoms of heaven, mm. because there are many many doors ascended which transcend this harsh realm. And, and try you you want to go there because there is so much more on offer okay and it's all about the choices between righteous and unrighteousness and it's about discerning what is righteous and what is not righteous this is what we should be um, trying to to discern and going inward and and even you know uh, putting the intent out for guidance because there is a good family in heavens okay and they do interact with us it's not just the bad guys ding and, and and trying to plague us okay there there is the other side of that coin and we're going to be placed in in situations where they're going to set up catalyst events in the negative and you're going to be tested your resolve is going to be tested okay so for example they they set something off um some kind of ecological disaster are you going to go and are you going to go and kill your neighbor, you know, to feed your child? You know, just one example. You know, I know it's, it's going to be tough times coming up, guys. All right, we've been shown a lot of things. And and they'll be coming out more and more. Um, yeah, they're going to accelerate. And Okay, they're going to intensify. Information about all of this will be coming forward. I will be coming forward. That those who we're giving the message message to, to those who have been positioned and led to be listening to this message right now, um, yeah, it's going to get a lot more serious. Okay, and we we would love to prosperity preach, and there is a time for that. However, it does get dark before the dawn, very mm. dark. And there will be three days of darkness. That is absolutely for sure. Yes. And that also equates to um, when the underworld will be fully made manifested. manifested in the overworld. Yeah. Yeah, so, 
uh, this is a very, very critical juncture. These are what the Bible would refer to, and many other religions also have their version of what is known as the end times. And uh, <clears throat> this is where the veils do start thinning and much does come to light. However, these are also days of great deception. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's just something that... that Actually, the, and the deception is going to be so great and the discomfort's going to be so great that what's going to be offered <laughs> as a... Yeah, the, the, the carrot. They're going to dangle the carrot, yeah. the golden carrot there. It's, it's, yeah. um, it goes beyond the, um, the agenda that they have with the um, transhumanism. Uh, it goes beyond just offering uh, people a way out of their, um, quote, limitations, their physical limitations. The world's going to be offered literally um, a solution, but you're, it's going to be at the expense of your soul. Uh, are you referring to what's known as the, well, the nanotechnology which mm -hmm. is involved in the Mark of the Beast? Yeah, um, that is, yeah. And, and the nano is just not, and the nano is like the antiquated version of what, what, the, what that's really going to be. It's, it's, if anything, the nano just gives us a concept of how alien and extraterrestrial the um, technology is that they're going to be utilizing for, for it. Yeah. And that will be a basically a full soul takeover. Yeah. Full uh, absorption, absorption and giving over yeah. of your of your soul essence. Yep. And uh, no way back. So yeah, have a have a good think about that, um, and then some because they do give clues away. They they do give exposition away in in their so called holy texts. Okay, they do give elements of the game. So because that way they can say to you, hey. We told you. You're warned. Yeah. See, they're going to offer people a means by which they'll be able to survive in some measure of comfort. And um, at that point, it's going to be either, uh, you know, brutal and with the scarcity of... Uh, yeah, of resources. Of resources. Yeah. Or they're going to uh, offer you, yeah a means by which to live within uh, protected environments that are sealed off from the feral yeah. uh, reality that will be uh, thriving yeah. at that point in time. And, and the question is, is yeah, how much are you, are you going to be willing to give up for the sake of your flesh, for the sake of this temporal existence in the flesh? Yeah, and you know, let's, let's look at, Already. interestingly, what the Bible says about all of this because... Um, yeah, we can look at it as that is just, sure, it's an agenda that's being played out and it can easily be manipulated by beings who are not bound by time and he, they are the ones that can, uh, they are the ones that created time and they can jump in and out whenever they feel like it. So yeah, they can create Bibles and they can create all manner of prophetic yeah. events that come to pass. Adjust timelines, things like That's that. their forte. Um, I just find it interesting that um, it's the same message being repeated, not just in the Bible, but also in the... Uh, yeah. Across the board. It's across the board, across yeah. The board. So every single one seems so, to be speaking about the same... Same elements. Elements yeah. and the same warnings and the same... Well, battle, it's, really. It's, it, yeah. it talks about the same battle going on. Well, well, this is all about the spiritual battle. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is what... <laughs> there's so much illusion wrapped up in this matrix. Uh, it really is all about the spirit. So this is what people need to overcome the world and not be overcome by it. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, you, there's going to be a lot of choices that are going to have to be made. Uh, pertaining to to spirit 
versus the flesh. Yeah, look, people are waking up, that is a fact. Um, there are universal waves coming in which are sparking people up. And this is also the reason why um, they're giving more and more now than they were previously because they know that they just can't keep the charade the facade, anymore. Yeah. The facade. So now they're like, oh my god, we've got to give them something because they're not, they're not the dumb monkeys we thought they were. You know, yeah. the monkeys are waking up. So yeah guys, let's not be monkeys, okay? Let's not be the monkeys that they they see us as, mm -hmm. okay? Let's um... And the monkeys they, they see us as, for them, they think that we deserve exactly what we're getting because... Well, because we keep um, yeah. basically eating out of their hand. Yeah, because we keep taking their bananas. Yeah. And even, and even the protests and, and all the political crap that they'll try and drag you into as well, that's also part of their oh, yeah. game yeah. as well. Okay, because that's another way where they can try and neutralize you by, by clinging to false causes, okay, by clinging to the world, cling to spirit more than the world. The world is doing its job, guys, okay? The world is showing you what you don't want, okay, in spirit. You are seated here, okay, to do your part in righteousness. So just do the right thing and the rest will take care of itself, okay? This is how it's always been. Okay. You are the plantation. Okay, so just be f plant yourself in fertile soil. That's what this is all about. Okay, all right. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you. And uh, be well. Be well. Every day in every way. And love one another. Oh, that's, uh, that's the crux of it. Yeah. And love yourself. Love yourself so that you can love others. Yeah. Okay, forgive. Yeah. Pray for your enemies. Okay. And and uh, we want to see as many people go to go to good places. Mm. Okay. So and, love. Yeah. Yeah. Love yourself. Love each other. Forgive yeah. yourself so that you could forgive others. Yeah, and, and take the weight of your shoulder, off, the, off your shoulders, forgive one another, that's, that's huge. Forgive, make, try and make amends where you've gone wrong in life. Okay, try to, try to right the wrongs, okay? Where you can, where it is healthy to do so, you know, f forgive and move on and, and rebuild relationships. Some, some relationships can't work, they need to be cut off. All right, boundaries, sometimes boundaries do need to be set, but the ultimate, forgive people in your hearts, okay? Be light as a feather.